Hi, I'm Gary Amoroso, Executive Director of the Minnesota Association of School Administrators. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. I want to start off by thanking all of you who were able to attend our 2013 Spring Conference. We thought it was a wonderful event. The use of our app to go paperless for the conference I believe was a success based on what I've heard from our members and we will continue to develop that process for future conferences. Thanks to all of you who contributed to the conversations during the conference. We hope that you walked away from the conference with one or two or three things that you can use in your daily work which will help you to better serve the children within your district. I want to talk just for a few minutes about the legislature. The targets for the committees for the 2013 through 2015 budgets have been presented. As all of you may remember, the governor was looking at approximately a $344 million increase in EC12 funding for the next biennium. Yesterday, the House financial target came out and they are looking at approximately $550 million for education. And the Senate's target came out today. They're looking at approximately $486 million with the caveat that up to $150 million of those dollars would be used for property tax levies. And so there's still some questions about what that actually means for the Senate uh, target, but we're pleased that the House was significantly higher in their target than what the governor had, and we still have more to find out about the Senate. The actual omnibus bills will hopefully be created and unveiled the uh, middle of April. That is the goal. The week of April uh, 8th through the 15th or so is when hopefully we're going to get our first look at the omnibus bills, uh, which are very important, as you know, because they will determine what is included in these uh, budgets for the next biennium. Once we begin to see some of this information, we're going to ask you to get active and to contact your legislators and share thoughts. As in the past, we will provide talking points and hope that you will get involved. Please know, and I can't stress this enough, that your voice matters. I was very pleased to accompany a, a number of our members from Region 2 today who met with various members of the legislature. And those interactions were powerful, and the individual legislators from Speaker of the House Thiessen to Chair Marquardt of the Early Childhood through 12 uh, Education Committee in the House made it clear that they want to hear from the members of MASA. I want to mention that we are beginning to uh, plan our MDE Superintendents Conference in August. That conference will be held on Tuesday and Wednesday, August 6th and 7th. We sent out information to each of the regions regarding Ed Talks. What we're looking for is each region to identify one district that will highlight one program that they are doing to improve the achievement levels of their students, to close the achievement gap, whatever you think you want to highlight in your region. We need to know which district is going to be doing that and who a contact person is in that district by April 1st. That will allow us to have all of that information in the program that we are going to have up online, hopefully three months out from the conference. Also want you to mark your calendars. Our fall conference will be coming Sunday night, October 6th through Tuesday noon, October 8th. It's going to be up in Duluth. And once again, it's going to be a great opportunity to get together, to have conversation with your colleagues, as well as great professional growth opportunities. Thank you for all you do every day. Contact me if I can be of service, 651-319-1211. Thank you.